Hey, what's up? We're uh, just spoils stuff. We're watching uh, Can't Hardly Wait. Classic movie. I'm not even being. I, I, I usually am like being sarcastic. I have a special place for this movie. I always liked this movie as a kid. Wait, well, this, like as I got teen. Is this movie considered a classic? Or? Yeah. We would have been 11 when this came out. Oh, I feel like you would have been 12. <laughs> oh, what's that movie that like spoofs of all these types of. Uh, oh, teen movie. Yeah, yeah. That, that we were in high school. Really that was bad. funny. Something about it, it's like creepy. I used to love that movie too. That's got the uh, Captain America, right? They're all comfortable living in this like weird mm-hmm. bizarro cartoon world. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. The better, the better movie of this is uh, ten, 10 Things I Hate About You. There's more of a plot. I don't know, this is more... Uh, oh, Jared for Louis, Jared for Louis has some pretty good plot in this movie, though. There's better good. There's better girls in this, but it, there's more um, of a plot in the other movie. Isn't Jamie Presley in this? And yeah. Oh, you're, you're talking about that. Like she's looking like before plastic surgery too. Because <laughs> they ripped looks... off Weezer. Oh yeah, of course. This is like the Do you want to show my sweater song? Sweater song. Hmm. <laughs> is this real big fish? Is this taking place in California too? I don't know. Do they ever, they, I think they do bring it up because doesn't someone fly somewhere? I think so. Like, yeah, so like go to some Kurt Vonnegut, Kurt Vonnegut like reading or something. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, the main character's, um, what's his name? Jimmy Gus oh. Giorgio or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Ethan Embry. He's not that COVID. What else was he in? Uh, Harold and Kumar? He had like a real pretty. Oh, he was like, like the new tech office worker. I forgot about that. He's, He's in the Walking Dead for like briefly. Is he? Yeah, he had some shitty part in the Walking Dead. It's cool we get like an intro for everybody in this. And an outro too. Mike Dexter, <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. The Beckett. Mm. What other movies have done that? Everyone looks like they're so high school age too. Mm. Yeah, well, how old, how old is Ethan Embry in this? Mm, let's see, Ethan yeah, Embry is born in 78. So... He's like... 20. 78. He's 20 years 20? old. Yeah. Not far off from, uh... Oh. 17. Yeah, not at all. He just looks kind of older. Yeah, hey, what was your quote for the high school yearbook? Mine? Yeah. It's, uh, Love Wings. Mine is Y'all Niggas Probably Don't Even Smoke Crack. <laughs> Viper? Yo. Did you listen to Viper in high school? Yeah. <laughs> that was half of the time. He's supposedly some kind of weird online rapist. He, like, did some rap videos where he hired, like, really ugly prostitutes. Dude. <laughs> I wonder what he paid him, man. I don't think it was even money. It was, like, Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't remember this part, to be quite honest. You remember the uh, intro flash? Well, it gives a flashback intro. <laughs> oh. It's so smooth. There's the times you gotta go back to go forward. Might as well be walking in the sun, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. This movie's kind of rivals, like, back I in the now. Yeah, best song of the 90s. <laughs> oh, Smash Mouth? Like... Rule, bro. I didn't. Uh, compared to some other stuff, they weren't that bad. Like, uh, except for that one, the, 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 uh, the one for that really shitty superhero movie with Ben Stiller, Mystery Men. Well, I forgot about that movie. Yeah, that one sucks, too. <laughs> yeah, he looks like college, college high schoolish. Oh, yeah. Papa Giorgio. <laughs> he looks like, uh, yeah, well, I, I don't like. Don't they cast everyone like ten years older than they're supposed to play? Yeah, I think we should do Vegas Vacation. Do some kind of National Lampoons. There's a bunch of. Aren't there like uh, newer ones that went straight to video? Let's do one. Let's take like, one of the oh, dude, I got one called like Surf Party. It's called like something like. It's like it looks terrible. It looks so good. Do you think Papa endless Giorgio, bummer? Do you think Papa Giorgio makes a cameo? I don't know. I think this is like even worse. No one that like is even a real actor. What's up straight to video? Like straight to uh, the, 
I like it's just the garbage. Yeah, like that one, National Lampoon's Endless Bummer. But then they that's called it like... <laughs> that's straight to the garbage. They called it like, they really released it, called it Surf Party, Summer Unleashed. Fucking Mike Dexter, dude. Yeah, Mike Dexter about, is... uh, Ethan. How big do you think Mike Dexter's dick is? <laughs> Probably like 14 inches. I don't know, don't they show it at one point or another? In the yeah, he hangs week? down. He has a small dick, right? <laughs> oh, I think that is the joke, right? Someone calls him a fag. Yes! Someone call me, they call me a fag! Oh, that's cancelled. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, like, um, homophobe jokes. Like, isn't there something where she thinks he's trying to fuck Barry Manilow or some shit? Wait, is <laughs> Wait, who's this fuck? Was that Ryan Seacrest? It sort of looks like him. <laughs> it's a good college, huh, dude? <laughs> yeah, is it Ryan Seacrest? I don't know, like, I looked that up. Oh, shit, he's got to... Why is he going to Ithaca College? Our second movie with Freddy Rodriguez, by the way. Is that Freddy Rodriguez? Yeah. Yep. The Pest. Well, every movie we've watched since The Pest has some kind of Pest connection, right? I keep yeah, thinking, actually, Le- Leguizamo's in some decent stuff here or there. Like, he's in Romeo and Juliet, that movie. Remember that one? With uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. And he's, and he's everyone's... Land of the musical. Dead. Land of the Dead, he's got a big part. All right, you got two. Yeah, that's about it. And then Spawn. Like, and then the past. You gotta count the past story. He had some parts. Dude, so this is so sexy. Only because Alan has three major franchises under <laughs> his belt. Yeah. And then he's got those commercials going, too. Who is true. Those, those eclipse anything he's ever done in his past, too. Those I, bet if you live, <coughs> I bet if you live in New York, though, you get, like, a lot of local commercials with him, right? Yeah, probably. Dave, do you remember seeing a lot of Leguizamo on the locals? Yeah, Dave. He's, like, their Wally Darvish. Oh, God. Yeah. What are Wally's doing, man? Yeah, what about Wally's doing? Wally might be dead, man. He wasn't looking that Wally's good to begin with. Guy, Ethan Embry uh, yeah. talked about this movie. Yeah, he said um, he could Imagine. barely remember it because he was so stoned during the whole time while making this movie. Who? Ethan Embry, the um, no. Papa Giorgio. <laughs> you think they even buried Wally Darvish? They just threw him in the trunk or something out in the lot. Yeah, they, 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 they shot him in the face and just put him in his trunk. Just so, like, maybe eventually get customers them. get, like, checking out the car and they find them. And it's, like, kind of a plus if you get it, if you get the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If so, you find Wally in your car, you get it free. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still, like, he still woohoo's. Like, you know he's dead. Like, if you touch the body or something, <laughs> yeah, like, he punches you know, the corpse and it comes out like a Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some good trivia here. Ethan Embry said he's never actually watched this movie. It, or he never huh? read the full script either. He said he just did it all on set. Yeah, he's like Johnny Depp, you know. He were you, were you not movies. joking me when he, when he was high the whole time? Yeah, he said he was stoned. He says he can't really remember filming this movie. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Melissa Joan Hart was uh, simultaneously making Teen Witch or whatever, and she had to take B12 uh, like vitamins to stay awake during the night shoots. Who did? <laughs> Melissa Joan Hart. She's in this? Yeah, remember she's like in the yearbook or something? She's on like trying to get everyone to sign a oh, yearbook. Oh, yeah. Her character's in this. Clarissa, yeah. I feel like there's some weird shit going on in this movie. I was kind of surprised, like, did, she had a pretty long career. Wasn't she in some witch show after the fucking... Sabrina. Yo, know, is that Claudio from Covia Cambria on the left? <laughs> <laughs> Is it dude on the right from like some new <laughs> shit or something? He looks familiar. Mm, I don't know. You have to. Looks like he'd be like Pete and Pete or something. Could be. This is like should have been a National Lampoon's movie. Yep. So this is very disgusting. See, all homophobia. Yeah, they kind of rape. They talk about sort. Of, is it rape? It's like soft rape that they're gonna do to. They, yeah, they're gonna. They have some like gay um, suicide plot they're trying to create. <laughs> that that hook kid, the guy was in Hook. That was his. This is his first and last movie since Hook, and then never really? did he do anything else. <laughs> Who directed this shit? Oh God, I don't know if there is a director. Probably like B unit director B. There's two of them, Harry. Harry Elfont and Deborah Kaplan. Mm. Is that like a Slim Jim that dude's just like sucking on grossly? Probably. 
It's fucking gross. The Terminator, man. <clears throat> yeah. This is highly offensive, man. Yeah, this kid's good for any Holy team of oh, German! In, uh, German! He's always stealing shit, yeah. Wait, that guy looks familiar too. Goggles. <laughs> 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 so he walks around with that like everywhere. Yeah, he, like, he he's, gets he's in Seven Eleven with like some fucking rape dungeon behind him. <laughs> <laughs> he has zip ties and duct tape like Dennis Reynolds. <laughs> yeah. What's this chick's name again? What else is she in? The redhead? I think she's in like Six Feet Under or some shit. Actually, yeah, there's a bunch of people from Six Feet Under in this. And she like looks better when she's like older a little bit. She looks like better when she's out of this movie. Maybe they're the same uh, casting people. Could be. Four cast members appeared on Six Feet Under. Lauren Ambrose, Fred Rodriguez, Peter Facellini, and Eric Belfour. I don't know who these people are. Peter Facellini is the, like, jock guy. Wasn't it Mike, Mike Edwards or whatever the fuck his name is? She just looks like... Is this gay? I don't know. No, that's Gary Glitter, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Obama. Chris Ben. Uh, I don't know. Third Eye Blind or some shit. There's most John Hart. There she is. Yeah, it's definitely hot. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, this is E6, guys. E6 is classic. <laughs> Do you remember that movie she had? Like, with uh, Vinny Chase? Can't remember the name of it. Oh. oh. oh you think you could dance or something like that? This <laughs> 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 is not a dancing movie at all. This is not a dancing movie. Yeah, I think it's all about dancing. Is that the one with Britney Spears? Drive Me Crazy? Britney. Yeah, you're right. There was, like, she did a song for the movie. I remember, yeah, they like they did the behind the scenes of the video. Oh, your heart is good. She's like she's stuck at me. Oh yeah, bitch. <laughs> this is back when like people would say shorties. Interesting. No, but people still say shorty. Shorties he and honeys. that he was. Sucking on, but he's stuck in his hat now. Yeah, this guy's got to get his ska band up. Oh, the rat race yeah, guy. I don't, I don't remember if they were oh, ska, ska dude. From, and that uh, Donald from Faison from... in the background too. And then yeah, Tazon Day from Scrubs or something. <coughs> I, yeah, I fucking hate Scrubs. Yeah. Who's this kid? Is that the kid with the purple socks? Probably. I'm not even joking. I think that is the kid with the purple socks from what was it? Uh, Harry the Spy. I think he's appeared in a couple of our movies. No, isn't that, uh, what's his name? Rumfer, whatever? Rumfberger? Um, Rum Thumb Tiger? Oh, yeah, we should do Good Burger one day. Yeah. Yeah. Mondo Burger? Remember that shit? Remember that plot? Yeah, man. And Kill Secret Sauce, dude. <laughs> Sinbad is, uh, the driver's instructor or some shit? Isn't Sinbad Keenan's dad or something? Oh no, he hates his car. Oh shit, Sinbad is in that. That was in bad, Joe. 
Who did you say he resembled? Like David the Covenant <laughs> from the X Files. <laughs> So this movie's just a party, completely. But there's some flashbacks, right? Me and Todd Kennedy, he used to always use that joke over and over again. <laughs> Ooh, violence towards women. Yeah, that was, uh, not cool. Yeah, Freddy yeah, like, Rodriguez is so gross. Dude, Mike Dixon's pretty hot. Yeah, how's that? How's Freddy Rodriguez? Like, they get, like, good chicks. It's because they're, like, the popular dudes. Freddy, Freddy Rodriguez is so gross in this. He should have a puka shell necklace. This one's not as cool. He should yeah, kind of be in the, um... He, they could have traded him for one of the Wigger crew guy, to tell you the truth. I agree. Would have been a little more appropriate. How racist is it that the two blacks have to be together? True. He couldn't be with one of the other girls? Damn. Oh my god, I can't believe she came. <laughs> I think I just came. I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that same joke. Set it all up for us. Great. No, actually, some of these other girls are looking better at the, like, yeah. blondes. I think Jenny Presley's better. She just looks really young here. Jenny <laughs> Presley's definitely better. A jewel quote. quote. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> remember Jewel and her snaggle tooth? Jewel was hot. Yeah, I don't really remember what song she did. She's Dude, like Jewel is hot. Don't, don't Jewel was hot. Talk about Jewel, man. She still looks good. She has some big tits. She fixed she that snaggle like tooth. She's been now, and she's probably terrible. Though. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, nice, more smash. Yeah, there's like a lot. Of, they should be like fifty percent of this movie. <laughs> yeah, dude, Smash Mouth really owned the nineties. And the 2000s. Yeah, he does look like a psycho compared to everyone else. <laughs> so does him, though. He's got this weird belt that's up too high. And his shirt's, like, tucked in on, underneath. It's, like, open button down shirt. It's an interesting look. He's got that, it's like... like a 90, late 90s look, though. Yeah, he's got that sleeve baseball shirt. long sleeve shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I think they even had wardrobe for this movie where everyone just wore their own shit. I think everyone just wore their own shit. I'm not, that's yeah, not even like a... Yeah, that, uh, this looks like Seth Green's, like, normal day, everyday, walk around type shit. Honestly, like, I could see him being, like, stolen for most of this, because it's like, this is, like, such a bullshit, like, throwaway movie, like, it's just all in one location. <laughs> yeah. It's all at night. All night shoots. No, Preston. Stone. Where this blonde girl walking past Preston looks good. I wonder if it was just always like random people that they got each night, probably, to be at the party. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Jamie Presley should have been like the number one here. Yeah, Jamie Presley's hot. Yep. How old is she here, though? She's probably like twenty-seven or something. I honestly she, think their age is actually kind of different, decently. At least she was older. I don't know, everyone's but like... she's like trashy, dude. Yeah. Everyone's 28, Jay, playing 18. Jamie Presley looks like so trashy. Yeah, but you could have like made her look a little nicer. She's girlfriend number... Wow, she doesn't even have a name. This is actually a little bit like offensive. Like, they're actually girlfriend number one, girlfriend number two, and girlfriend number three to four. Really? Yeah, it's like kind of offensive. They don't have names. <laughs> yeah, who's the like Gwyneth of our group? And yet they gave Donald Faison a name. Wait, do they, they actually call each other by their names at all? Because if they don't, then I guess they don't deserve to be they named don't. in the credits. Oh, like, all these guys don't have names like Homeboy and Jock and X-File? 
Oh, X Files, like the X Files. Yeah, Donald Faison just yeah, drummer. Is, they like were so lazy when they, they made. Who's Donald Faison? He's he plays drummer in this. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Homeboy number one and two. But maybe maybe I, are you guys looking at IMDb? Maybe yeah. IMDb's, like just didn't do their homework or something. No, I guarantee you they did. <laughs> no, I don't think anyone cared right, enough, dude. You know. Jamie Presley would have been 21 in this. It's like something Bill Murray would have done in high school. Like, you know, <laughs> 10 ladies, like, he's gonna ask out awkwardly and get rejected, like, each and every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and have, like, some dad just like this, like, with that, like, fake black voice, too, like, with the Bill Murray voice. You think he based his life off of Seth Green in this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at least Mertz has rap albums, and I don't know if Seth Green even has a good point. That is a good point. Special sauce or something? Mertz is more committed to the movement. G Fresh and Special Sauce or something? Is that girl holding two little bowls? The one girl's like staring at a banana. I think she was like tripping or something. That guy's a cool see through shirt. I was like, I had one of those, and I was like jealous that he had one. And now, like looking back, I'm glad I never wore anything like that. Mm. (laughs) Try some gross ass Bud Light or Natty Ice. That's why, dude. He knows. I think this is like Seth Green's Oscar performance and never get recognized. Uh, yeah. Well, he he's trying to he's trying to stage like Wazamo. Yep. I wonder if he like got contact through Freddie Rodriguez to like get some tips from like Wazamo. <laughs> Seth Green kind of dresses like the pest a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I used to be a top cavity, you should always say that shit. Hmm. <laughs> 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 They think they're black. Oh, this that weird girl. Yeah, she's from like what's that movie uh, with the alien invasion? The Faculty. The Faculty. Which is like way a, better than this. It's like a we- that weird alt chick in those movies. You remember Zeke with all the drugs in that movie? Yeah. Uh, what's his name? That that kid. That guy's disappeared off the face of the earth. Oh, Josh Hartnett. Yeah. You what minute are you are you on? I'm on, I'm on like twenty three forty. Yeah. 2347. Okay. Mm. Wonder how she got a martini at a party. Yeah, who who mixed that up for her? Hmm. <laughs> it's funny how that happened to a lot of that's a real thing there's always those kids that did that <laughs> Danny McGarren was ours did what? like just like put all this shit in like a t- on like a tray and he would eat all of it and oh, everyone yeah. everyone like give him a dollar remember, or something yeah I remember seeing him eat some real grotesque concoctions of who Jesse? no Danny McGarren oh was what? He, he, had a, he had an iron stomach Oh yeah, yeah. He he would like lick like tomato. He'd lick like fucking ketchup. Damn, I wish I went to high school in 1998. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even Embry could play a leading man. <laughs> he does kind of seem stoned. <laughs> I 
bull cord. Mm. <laughs> well, he's creepy, like, guy. Uh, he, like, tries to, like, he's her cousin or something. Yeah, he's pulling his, like, best general hospital type of, like, there's acting. There's, like, shirts in this. Hmm. <laughs> A lot of good shirts. I think I would do well in 1998. Yeah. I think if we all went back, we would have done it decently. We just need, like, a, you know, like, a bad open t-shirt, like Ethan Embry. I'm not seeing any curly hair guys, though, Dave. You would have had to have, like, frosted tips for that, like a J Justin Timberlake kind of look. No, the Seacrest guy had frosted tips, right? Oh, yeah. You see, you see how he just disregarded that poor black guy. Yeah. Dude, that's this movie's canceled, dude. <laughs> oh, here's that curly hair guy. Dave, you would have been this guy, looking at oh, that. Uh, what's he doing? He's flossing. Oh, dude, what is he doing? Why is he flossing? Coat. He's doing he's something gone. with that floss. What the His fuck? His mouth. It's gross. He's like eating a gum or something. It's... Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, what the fuck is he doing? He's, like, playing with, with gum. Look at his shirt, too. It's got, like, that... Oh, a lot of weird shirts. <laughs> yeah, Robbie Rodriguez is... Where the fuck his name is? Freddy. He just, like, makes out with chicks in movies. Yeah, he, got, he had a good part. He's probably loving this. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. I feel like he definitely consulted J John Leguizamo on that joke. What did you say? He definitely consulted John Leguizamo on that joke. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. He's... <laughs> yeah, the pest... We should, like, the pest should be, like, part of the movie. I completely agree. He's the kind of... He's, like, their emperor figure. He's always there, like, lurking underneath. Jesus. Yeah, man, fuck Mike. You got that hot little... How do they have enough story for this movie? It's already like 25 minutes in, but nothing's happened. Uh, yeah. You know about the plot? Because I do, I do remember like what the plot is. He's kind of like a realized yeah. Daria. True, yeah. Oh, man, that's a fucking show. The plot's just all that he wants to tell the girl he likes that he likes her. Yeah, he wants to get her. I know how it feels to be at a party like these guys. I hate going to parties. This, we've never had a, I've never been to a party that was like this crowded. It's never like it's never like packed with people like this. Like, love burger. <laughs> yeah, I kind of can't wait for love burger. Oh, you can't like this. Just like never works out with the sound or something. Yep. I guess they got some silly string. You know, it's a real party. Love burger. <laughs> love burger was like an accent over the U. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting heckled before I even start. Again, dude, this is so racist, bro. Yo, know, why does a ginger kid have to be the thief? Dude, it's weird. The lead singer's dressed yeah. like Austin Powers. It's creepy how everything's connecting. Whoa, good point, Cleveland. <laughs> that is like a weird, uh... Or he's going for, like, some vampire shit. I think he's going for, like, a Beatles look. <laughs> they never dress like that. <laughs> I know you're right. It's like Sergeant Pepper's type shit. Damn, somebody shit in her house. It's fucked up. <laughs> Did you ever do that? You had a party, you just go and shit randomly <laughs> in someone's house as a joke? <laughs> no. I just let it sit there for like a month before they figure out what happened. Double decker with some people.
Like the, the singer's name is Brecken Meyer. He was in, um, what's it called? Road Trip, Rat Race. Oh, yeah, he's like... Clueless. He's like a Tom Green, like, uh, nuclear Tom Green or something. Like, nuclear deformed Tom Green. I think that's about right. She was on, um, what's that horror TV show? American Horror Story. I think she was Shelby Woo. Oh, that's Shelby Woo? The, <laughs> no. The fat Shelby white girl. Woo. Remember, she's what? like with Billy. Uh, what was that movie? It was a TV show. On Nick Lodian or something? After Alex Mack? The Detective or something? <laughs> the Secret Files with Shelby Woo? What yeah. Well, she's like a detective or some shit? Yeah, because she's Asian. She can figure everything out. It was really racist even back then. <laughs> yeah, put on the Jimmy hat now. Put on a con, that'd be hilarious. Ew, yeah, what, why would you even think that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> think that guy wiped with his cast? Is that a midget? That girl. Yeah, that's racist. Or a little person? <laughs> oh god. Well, now I see why people are shitting just randomly around the house. It's a lot and so long. That's pretty awesome. Why him? That's the last person I would let upstairs. Yeah. She's pretty hot. Yeah. The girl whose house it is is pretty good. Yeah, I'm surprised yeah. everyone's like fucking with her so much. Yeah, they're at her house. She's being hospitable, throwing a party for them. But that's like. That would never happen. There's always like those people that are like white knights being like, we gotta be nice to Jessica. This is her house. And we can't <laughs> clean it up. There's a girl in the bathtub and she's throwing up. <laughs> Man. <laughs> like, we, we need two able-bodied indi individuals that you can talk like that, too. What? <laughs> 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 do you guys do this before you have sex? You like practice. Like that. <laughs> I never even had sex before. <laughs> it's actually really dangerous what he's doing. He can, like, yeah. I think you gotta do that if you had shorts. You know, you gotta stretch them. Yeah, I'm wearing a Jimmy hat right now, just in case I get laid. Even though yeah. I'm in the next <laughs> couple days. And then every time you have to take it off and reapply new one. It's a weed brownie. <laughs> 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 What's this guy from? That guy looked familiar. I know you're talking about. <laughs> I can play that character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think anyone could. He barely even said anything. Oh, now I remember this plot. They're like stuck in there together. Be able the to get not, the lock wouldn't be fucking still in there. Yeah, they'd be able be able to get out a lot easier, actually. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. We gotta we gotta have the subplot in the movie. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> huh, he is like so much better luck than uh, Seth Green. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, Seth Green should have been like getting fucked up, but his priority was like off. <laughs> yeah, man. Wait, is that Josh Duhamel or whatever? The guy who's with uh, Jamie Presley. Josh Duhamel? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> no, it's Cannon Row. Cannon C H A N N O N. Does he have a character name in this or no? Just Josh Number Two. That that guy who you that like was the stoner Yo. guy with the brownie is Eric Belfour. He's in a uh, Six Feet Under. I think there's oh, so two guy, the there's four people from that. Gets the shit kicked out of him by Roller Girl in Boogie Night. I think mean, he's the guy that they mm. pick up and like he starts looking over there and then like he like they get hard or something like they kick the shit out of him and like leave him on the side of the road. I believe. Yeah, like towards towards the end. And he's like Roach in Biodome, whoever Roach is. At least they were right to give uh, Jamie Presley girlfriend number one. She's not girlfriend number two or three. No. Right. Oh, he's Jock number one. Never mind. Sean Peck is Tom. I love the character names. There's, uh... Those two guys are X-File 1 and 2. Yeah. Wait, so this guy's trying to rape his cousin. Oh, he's Jock yeah. 1. You're talking about, right? Jock 1? Jock number 1? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Jock 1. X-File. Yeah. Then there's Real Homeboy and Homeboy number 1 and number 2. I wonder who Real Homeboy is. I like that there's Beer Drinker, Ready Whip Kid, <laughs> Gossipy Klepto Girl. Kid. I like Klepto Kid, the Terminator. Reminiscing guy... Girl Mike hits on number one is Selma Blair. <laughs> ready to have sex, girl, and then ready to have sex and friends. That's the best one. Ready to have sex, friend. That sounds like a like a job description. <laughs> that's that's what the character's called. Yeah. 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 Is that a, isn't that a fluffer? Ready to have sex with his friend. They don't have. <laughs> this reminiscing guy. <laughs> Well, yeah, I know who that is. <laughs> yeah, there's Ready to Have Sex Girl, you're right. And then Ready to Have Sex Girl's friend. <laughs> ready fluster. to Have Sex's friend. There's not even girl in there. It's just Ready to Have Sex's friend. There's Hockey Guy. There's a I Hockey know, Guy I in there. I that. It's like, win the letter that he had. Uh, I got spoilers. I don't, I don't want to ruin it. Who's this guy again? Why that is might, talking to him? That might be Beer cousin, Drinker. Cousin. Cousin. Oh. The people around the like that the keg were keg guy, beer drinker, and, and another beer drinker. They didn't even give him one or two for that. Yeah. They both share the beer drinker character name. They made her hair look kind of weird. Looks like some eighties like spray to bouffant shit. Yeah, and this well, was this not is, the time period. It should have been like glued to her face. Good, I mean, I think Beck it's a good feminist character. Hmm. It's true. Same with Ethan Embry, right? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's scumbag. He's white. But he's like into poetry and shit. And he's, yeah, just, he's, he's really into writing letters. Like everyone. I'm into writing letters. I used to write letters. Both letters. How'd that work? Big she used them to wipe her shit box with them. <laughs> 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 Gotta worry about the goddamn COVID because she got my love letters to wipe her shit box with. Do you think kids now they like write their love letters in like the notes app on the iPhone? And then they, uh, they just send no, they just send text, bro. It just snaps. I was gonna say yeah. snap or kick or something. It's like a love. Oh, you do a TikTok about it. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, TikTok, TikTok their feelings. TikTok. Yeah, man, we should do, we should do like a TikTok dance for every. Like, <laughs> yeah. Every day. I think we should get some rad, you know, denim jackets with some Taz yeah, and Looney Tunes on them, we, and then do we, some... We throw each other a comb, and then we all do a comb dance. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I did see a good one with Jack Black, where, like, talking about being a slave to the iPhone, and he's like, you know, we're, we're all just, like, slaves to the iPhone. And he, like, throws in, like, the pool and, like, dies. And it was pretty good. He's doing some good TikToks work. I 
understand how like Vine died, but then this shit comes around. It's like the same fucking thing when everyone acts like Vine just didn't just end and like it's new. No, Twitter bought it and kind of killed it off. Oh. Uh, uh. So it was only like smart someone like did it again. People's attention pans, it's like so small, so. Yeah, it's perfect. Man, Kenny Fisher, dude. <clears throat> I thought this one was like a lesbian or something. Yeah, she had them vibes. I think she's supposed to be, but then Seth Green's sex appeal converts her. Yes. I mean, look at the goddess. How can you really, like, not, you know? Shelby Woo's like about the, to get... The see-through shirt guy gets the Asian girl. Shelby Woo's getting wooed. Kevin Hart. Dude, Kevin Hart, bro. <laughs> That's the ready whip guy, Doug. <laughs> nice. Everyone's dancing to some rock. So this is like his cousin that's like going to try to kiss her, right? Yeah. yeah. He wants to do more than that. He's trying to fuck her pussy, bro. <laughs> yeah, some, like, elephant Give a little bit of, he's trying to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Hmm. <laughs> 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 a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yeah, look at those red eyes. <laughs> <laughs> This is a uh, Lloyd Christmas moment. What's up, Preston? You never seen incest before? <laughs> yeah, dude. Act normal. <laughs> He's like worked it all out in his head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is rape. There's rape in this. True. Yeah, they, they, the the uh, the incest overshadows the rape attempt. Yeah, and that was like kind of like not like a quick kiss either. No, that was like a yeah. He was like on top of her. He mounted her. <laughs> See, I could be that guy too. I should grow my hair like that in quarantine. <laughs> yeah. Some side show Bob shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that Kelsey Grammer? Hey, there's Selma Blair. Oh, yeah. That's behind you. Oh, there she is. Yeah, she's hot. Whoa. Dude. She's so she's young. Hot. Whoa. This is pretty her trying to get raped by Hollywood, right? She's in on that oh, Me she, Too. She got Weinstein? She's definitely in on the Me Too stuff, I know for sure. Through Selma Blair? Definitely. But she's MS. She's, like, dying. Isn't she, like, a neo Nazi now or something? I'm not neo Nazi. She's mobile sclerosis. Neo feminist. James Toback tried to do something with her. Whoever James Toback is. Sounds like a... Uh, He's a screenwriter. Yeah. He kind of looks like uh, the Tom Cruise character in Tropic Thunder. James Toback. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be Weinstein, though, by the way. Rachel McAdams and Selma Blair both talk about Toback. It's funny, this has um, subtitles, and all the T's are S for whatever reason. Hmm. <laughs> it's probably how the screenplay was written. She kind of reminds me of my sister slightly. T- Melissa Joan Hart? Yeah. With Teenage Witch? Was she big into yearbooks? No, just the way she looks. This is a great montage right here. Yep. Because you know something good's going to happen when Smash Mouth comes on. Yep. That's kind of like what my life is like. Every time Smash Mouth is on, which is very rare, something good happens. There's Hockey Guy. Yeah, there's Hockey Guy. 
Who? 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 such a raging bitch. He's got some hill figure on. I find this girl's like 21. She looks some like she's like 50. Bugs or lugs? Who, her? Yeah, she looks like she's like a 50-year-old mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At 18. She has like a bowl cut, kind of. Oh, they were friends before. Yeah, remember he was like, Preston was saying how she used to have sleepovers at his house. And we were like, well. <laughs> Ble- Is that bugs or bleaks on his goggles? I want to know what brand he's rocking. Bugs. With a Z. Yo, I wonder if bugs and lugs are connected. <laughs> uh, uh, I own a pair of lugs. Yeah, you never had any Bugs goggles? No, I didn't. I got Lugs goggles and Lugs shoes, but no Bugs goggles. I specifically remember those Lugs commercial. It was funny. They you were like... Lugs? Lugs? Yeah. yeah. They were like on yeah, like... I used to like, tell Doug that, that, this, that one of the characters beat his wife, and that's why Doug took that <laughs> as his screen name. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. They were, <laughs> they were definitely like a sponsor for like... I don't know, like, WWF Raw. I remember that. Like, it was in between stuff like that. You would see the Lugs commercials. Really? <laughs> Definitely. Where are you like, buying that, like, Scream? I don't know where you would get... I guess Spencer's, or... Right? <laughs> Gadzooks. Gadzooks, yeah. I can relate to this little faggot, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's definitely really high here, too. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, his eyes are red. <laughs> Yeah, his eyes are redder than the wolf man's dick. <laughs> Do it. Oh, wow. Remember using payphones? <laughs> there are calling cards? Yeah, I used to d- use that for to get picked up. Same. If you had to suck a Frankenstein and Dracula or a Frank, wait, Frankenstein and Dracula or Wolfman's dick, who would you suck? Probably Dracula, right? He'd probably seduce you. <laughs> yeah, it'd be the cleanest. That no, I think a Frankenstein dick would probably be pretty clean. Oh, Did you guys yeah. ever have a beeper? Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Leave it, which, leave it, which extra, extra, extra ordinary creature's dick would you suck? You have to choose between Frankenstein. Wait, what about? Man, hold on. What if you Dracula. threw the Invisible Man in, so then you don't even have to see it? Yeah. Yeah, but the Invisible Man's dick is so girthy that it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dracula probably has like the smallest dick too. So I think I'd go Dracula. But the Wolfman might have a small dick. Oh, uh, Wolfman sounds like he has like a big red veiny cock. <laughs> no, it's like it's long and veiny, but it's like all like thin. What about the creature La- Black Lagoon's dick? It's probably just a gill. Oh, well, it, it has black in it. You know it's big. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there should be universal monster porn. I'm sure that's some, like, Rule 69 thing or whatever. You know what's the worst, like, out of all of them would be, like, the mummy's cock? Most of these, like, all bandaged. Yeah, and, like, deteriorating and, like, thousands of years old. Remember her? Yeah, dude. She had, a, like, a TV show something in Dharma or some shit. Oh, yeah, it's Dharma and Greg. Dharma from Dharma and Greg. <laughs> Jenna Elfman. That's oh, it, yeah, Jenna Elfman. Wait, was she in the that Charlie Sheen show? I didn't see any of that. The, like, after he got himself fired from that the gay guy in the baby show or whatever. I thought that's the show she was on. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Two gay guys and a baby or whatever was something. Yeah, who's that? 
the fag from like Sixteen Candles or some shit. One of those John Hughes. <laughs> Dougie. Yeah, he's no feminist. It's like gaming Scrooge. He's no <laughs> feminist. He's not woke the way he could mistreat that woman. It's true. Doesn't he share the window and stab her or something after this? <laughs> yeah, he punches her through the glass like in Dumb and Dumber. Get off the phone. He just punches her right through the glass. Looking kind of hot. Yeah, you got some good tits. Maybe it's just that one titty out. This is like a uh, prime Dharma and Greg. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't even know what that show was on. Wait, she's supposed to be a stripper? Yeah. She doesn't look like a stripper. <laughs> she just looks like she's cosplaying. Yeah, she's a lot of thing right now. <laughs> yeah, she's still a character. I wonder if the the Trekkie or the uh, X Fi- X Files guys uh, are lar- lar- thing right now. Probably they should have been Trekkies too, but I guess that wasn't as popular as X Files in nineteen ninety eight. True. Hitting rock bottom. Yeah. What a beautiful shot, though. Like, maybe he's a good five minutes to give her a ride. Does he give her a ride? I forget. It's a head? It's kind of a nice shot. It looks like pretty good. There should have been, like, a severed head in there. I was just going to say, I wonder what, what it is. You never know. What's in it's the bag, man? Oh, it's an aborted baby. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gave birth at the party, and they shoved it in there and left. Sometimes you have an aborted baby. <laughs> Uh, who would remember who you fucking sit next to in any class? <laughs> What's this girl's name, I wonder? Cheap girl? Ugly fat girl? Who let her into the party? Yeah, for real. You have, like, sharp scissors. Well, everyone's invited. On, on edge she's like ready to stab someone yeah I guess that's why that girl is like <laughs> yeah but there is a big strap on though have there been any females <laughs> yeah these kids are good <laughs> they are LARPing yeah they are <laughs> so they like terrified after like one second like a cartoon <laughs> damn but Jennifer Elfman she must be really old now who? This Jenna Elfin, huh? Yeah, she looks like she's like... Oh, that's Sammy Elfin's daughter. She's 48 now. That's Sammy Elfin's boyfriend. Ethan Embry is 41 right now. This kind of makes sense. She's like seven years older than him. Yeah. She's a goddamn who would. <laughs> is that Ralphie? Yup. Hell yeah, man. No, actually, um, Richie Aprio is in the Monster Squad. Uh, it's really random. He's like in like the first scene. He's in Goonies too. Really? He's in Goonies? Josh Monster Cole Squad is the better Goonies, Goonies, by the way. Way better. Isn't he one of the brothers? The like, you know, with the older woman, old woman. I don't think so. Oh, he is, he is, he is. He's one of, like, the goon, like the lackeys, yeah. Yeah. That woman's so gross right in that movie. Too. 
I'm gassy. Was that? Uh, no. Is farting? <laughs> no. I'm gassy. I think that's what Can Harley does. Can uh, Harley Can Wait does. It gives you gas. 90s What's gas. better so far? Can Harley Wait or Keeble? I'd like this better, actually. They're pretty similar. It's way better than no, Austin Powers. Like, Austin Powers might have been the worst movie we did. not as bad as, like, Austin. Like, at least it's, like, watchable. Like, I, I have not mind watching this, to be honest. Like, Harley Wait's pretty decent. But it's offensive. Highly offensive and should be canceled, for sure, but... It's got everything in it. Racism, sexism, <laughs> uh, pedophilia. Taxis. Incest, rape. Prostitution. Scapeo jokes. <laughs> yeah. No one would get that now. <laughs> it would, who is Scapeo? See, no one even gets it now. It's from Happy Days or some shit? He's Chachi. He's Who's like Chachi? a Happy Days spin-off show. Joni loves Chachi. Like Trotsky from uh, Russia. He's like, a, he's like a pre Tony Danza. Tony Danza. He's like the Fonzie's um, like younger brother in Happy Days, and he's I don't know. He's like the new Fonzie in the show at, towards the I end of it. Ted Danza and Tony Danza were the same. No. <laughs> he looks sort of like Shaggy from uh, Scooby Doo. This is a good joke. Like, they're just a band that never plays, and, like, they're trying to play the whole time. I like it. <laughs> this is the point of defeat for them. <laughs> oh, wow. Some Paradise City. Wait, it's a bomb. <laughs> is this oh shit! Like, it is a bomb. Bomb. I never noticed that. There's like that's a like mouthpiece awesome. in the tail. Yeah, that's a pretty cool bomb. Oh, I see the F, Dave. I'm like the T's. I see you're saying. Have you guys noticed any trans people at the party yet? It's no, supposed... it's very offensive that there isn't. Trans people weren't really a thing. <laughs> they were, they just they weren't telling anyone. Either. Yeah, they were They were all murdered by the time they were 14, so... <laughs> <laughs> no trans left behind. It's funny they're all like into it. This like karaoke. Yeah, man, she's it. The, the goth girl's into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one girl like headbanging to us. Yeah, like legitimately headbanging. <laughs> People need to start fucking his dick. <laughs> yeah, that, that one girl's good. He wants to touch his laser pointer. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty hot, actually. <laughs> It's like a true Axl Rose right there. This guy's kind of like the original McLovin. Yeah, pretty he's much. McLovin? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, he sort of is McLovin. He does a similar uh, character arc. Super bad pretty much ripped this movie off, actually. <laughs> they did. It's yeah, with the, the, late, and the, yeah. Didn't McLovin have like a big dick or something? They had that joke too, right? I don't know. I think they did. Yeah, I don't remember that. No, McLovin had a big asshole. <laughs> Just like, just like hung out, hung it down from his pants like a tail. Yeah, didn't, didn't play nipples, too. <laughs> I never cl- crowd surfed. Did any of you guys surf? No. I did. I crowd surfed and I stage dive when I was like, I think it was like the last Jaw <laughs> show or something. It was Bill Mertz. Mine goes like, back to like, like the crowd crawls when you just get down on the ground and let people <laughs> all over your back. Mine go- <laughs> that was awesome. Your beard is great. That was great. That guy steals the show. That radio guy. Mine goes back to like Warp Tour '96. I think I crowd goes- surf then. Yeah, he gets. He- That's pretty awesome. He gets two chicks, man. Definitely a fuck toy fantasy right there. Yeah, but that kind of that kind of shit happens. Fantasy. 
when it's like everyone th everyone really likes a joke because it's like, oh, look at this guy, he's so fucked up. That happens sometimes. Be like, this guy's cool. Yeah, like, it, it should end with him having alcohol poisoning if it was real life. <clears throat> yeah, he's like, pumping his stomach. Exactly. <laughs> and then you have a girl like, oh, I don't want to touch his laser pointer anymore. Yeah, he's Is she a onesie? Is she just like in a black onesie? <laughs> I don't know, it's... With some, like, mesh, mesh covering. Hard to tell, yeah, it's at least some mesh going on. Do you think those brain things that Seth Green has is like a joke that he did himself? I think people actually did that. <laughs> the like little mini braids that are in his hair. Like another girl yes. fought off another one yeah. to get in there. That girl's like the best girl. I'd want her to be touching the laser point of the lobes. <laughs> oh shit! Jerry O'Connell. I forgot about that. Oh yeah. Yeah, giving a beard ass. Uh, what's that Roach movie where they like dance and shit? Joe's, Joe's apartment. apartment. Oh, yeah. God. That that classic. Wasn't that like MTV produced or some shit? I think you're thinking of Kangaroo Jack. Troy McGintley? Chip McNeely? Is that... Maybe like his... Maybe like no, dude, he looks like not like there are, there were those kids that looked like him. But... Yeah, looked like a little older. Nah, he's like um. He's yeah, he would have been like twenty four, twenty five. Yeah, that's what happens when you're mixing fucking steroids and HGH at sixteen. <laughs> Wait, what about the other Connell? Isn't there two of them? Yeah, the other ones in the dudes. Where's my car? Oh shit! Where's your car, dude? Your bashing time guy. Yeah, that's, I think that's him. It is. It's crazy how they made a movie off of one line. Donor bashing time? No, no, like the... Oh, dude, where's my car? Yeah, it's, it's like, like all came from that. It's like aliens and... Um, that has some trans people in it. Charlie O'Connell is that, the other one. Yeah, we could do uh, that movie. Oh, dude, where's my car? He's a frat dude. Frat dudes get laid. Yeah, no, this shit's bullshit. Yeah, it's, called, it's, it's, called Ro, <laughs> it's called Rohypno. Yeah. Get a date every night. Bag him and tag him. Trippy Blue fucked like 60 chicks. 
in like one sitting once. <laughs> Who let this guy in the party? What? No, oh, yeah. That's... Oh, there's a trans kid. And there's Jason Siegel. Yeah. What's he doing with that watermelon? It's gross. He's just like fingering it. Yeah. He's looking. <laughs> oh, it's disgusting. It's so gross. He made like a vagina with it, and he's Yo, like, is, "That is a bomb. Is it a, bo- a Stegosaurus bomb?" Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Tall <laughs> <laughs> <All> hair. <laughs> hmm. That's about right. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Those guys are pretty woke, to be honest. They're doing their breast impression like Slater from uh, Days and Confused there. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Right, and when he's talking about like uh, George, George Washington, Washington or something, he got a good caboose, man. He that grew that shit the... on Mount Vernon, man. <clears throat> Some more, another rape attempt. It's like the third one in this movie. Yeah, it feels constantly gets, continually gets like raped. Yes, yeah, she's, she's a feminist icon. Yeah, but I don't like look, this movie. look at what she's wearing, man. She's asking for it. You know, they're doing her a favor. <laughs> yeah, it's not like J- Jamie Presley's wearing anything worse. <laughs> yeah, just in a bra. Up, basically. Yeah, she's she she's a uh, she's all Miss Michigan. Serious eyeliner on this guy right now. Uh oh, about to happen. Oh no, Amanda Beckett. I bet she knows what he did last summer. Yeah, for real. No. You don't want me to take you back? Everyone, the whole, whole party stops for this. Yeah, right? Exactly. Everything just cares about this relationship so much. They're so invested. But this is prom king and prom queen. <laughs> like the Goss. Have Goss King and Goss Queen now at high schools. See, this is a big feminist teaching moment, actually. This is a story of like everyone coming together. You got the Goths, you got the Stoners. Yes, there's so many Goths are at this party. I don't think yeah. they would even show up. Where else are they gonna go in their parachute pants? <laughs> the only one who doesn't fit in is Freddy Rodriguez. Yeah, he's like a little wacky. Yeah. Somebody. Somebody. He's gonna punch her? He's fucking whistling. Oh, God. <laughs> Doesn't he kick off fag? Yeah, he just did. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's really offensive. <laughs> <Bag>. <laughs> and he shit his pants. Yeah. <laughs> Bag. Let's get that gymnast there. Just the, some somersaults. Quadruple uh, quad springs or whatever. Yeah, they didn't finish it. He like broke his neck, and they had just. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's what everyone when flash dance comes out at a party, that's someone's gonna do that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's good. That guy kind of steals every scene he's in. Yeah, he delivered. <laughs> everyone just trying to fuck her. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty. This is pretty good, actually. Yeah. <clears throat> he doesn't know if he likes her or not. Jeez. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
sounds like a serial killer. She is a feminist icon. Yep. Yes, yeah, like she's she's woke. I feel bad for her. She's got like five people that have tried to rape her tonight. In the last five minutes. You know, you know what yeah. she looks like really good into? Heartbreakers. Oh, with uh, Sigourney Weaver and like, um... Jason Lee. Who else is in this shit? Ray Liotta. Gene Hackman. Yeah, Gene Ooh. Hackman. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely high. Where was that guy when they called him a fag? That was funny here. <laughs> they really look like they were split from the same person. Yeah, they look kind of like weird twins. Yeah. Or it's like the the like Stefan machine or whatever from uh, Family Matters when Urkel goes in. That's how he makes Stefan. Yeah, doesn't he like go in the machine? It's powered by cheese, and then he transforms. <laughs> this crap pumps. Yeah, like, they're making fun of, like, old-fashioned. Look at what they're wearing. Yep. The lucky neither one of them had to take a shit during this whole time. They both did. That's what they're bonded over right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had to eat it to survive. <laughs> Yeah, was that ever a thing? People wearing goggles like this? Hmm. Kind of. I don't really think so, though, no. <laughs> I don't remember yeah, if you were doing that. If they didn't have, like, they, like, just wrapped around your head. They're, like, Oakley's or something. And they're, like, T-Pain or, like, what's his name? The other fucking... T-Pain wore goggles? Oh, you're right, he did. Or, no, it was Flavor Flav or something. Something like that. That was kind of weird. Oh. Yo, Kenny Fisher's got a boner, bro. <laughs> Making out with a lesbian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that Smash Mouth? No, it's Sublime. Same band. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's, it's the apex. Oh, no, that's T11, bro. Yeah, she's on a lot of Adderall for that scene. Listen to her. She's on poppers. Is that what Charlie and Mac have? What what are poppers? Are those things, is that like those things you like inhale? Yeah, I don't they make your asshole <laughs> open. You like crack them and sniff it or something? Wouldn't yeah. Be, like just primarily for gay sex, or do they have like a pop? Yeah, you can see like you see a little buzz. Mike and Rich Vivencia were doing it. <laughs> <laughs> of course they were. Oh, Mike, were you there? Yeah, we were at a rest. We were at a restaurant. Big Mo met up with us, and it was like the <laughs> last day. Like Big Mo and I were like normal, like finally, like actually together, together. It's it just a weird time. <laughs> the popper fest. These two guys need some poppers to open up the na- the assholes. 
Hmm. <laughs> 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 you got a lot of eye lying around Drake and Meyer. Oh, yeah. You think they sold Little Trigger shirts set for the movie? They should. Honestly, like, I was, was surprised if you could find a Love Burger. I'm we should sell Love, Love Burger shirts. <laughs> <laughs> This is actually a pretty good joke about the band that never played. Whoa! Yeah, you know, the union. Yeah, kind of what they sound like. They, they, do they say the N word. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Some good, uh, good old. Yeah, see, this movie's hard. pretty woke. You know, the the Wiggers getting it. Do you think the they mention outside? The lesbian turns the Wigger, right? What a weird couple. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're both gingers. Yeah, I guess that's true. I forgot about was, Seth Green's long guy. hair. Will the governor and Andy, are they a ginger that's me with other gingers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought that wasn't a lie. I thought that was a taboo. <laughs> 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 this is kind of like drug read. Blink-182, man. You got Blink, you got 311, you got Smash, you got, uh, Three Kings or whatever. E6. Damn. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they gassed him. Yeah. This is kind of homoerotic. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, like yeah. Skrillex or some shit. Yeah, 
Miles Davis has legit been whistling for this entire movie. Really? Oh, Sublime? <laughs> so I was hoping maybe he, he got uh, COVID in. No, uh, yeah. Dude, the virus is fake, man. The baby gets you sick. Doug, maybe you gotta, like, isolate some of it and release it down there for him. Dude, you can't I, say I, that. If I ever got it, I was thinking, it sounds terrible. I was thinking about, like, if I somehow, not that would, but, like, I want to put it on their doorknob or something. Yeah, just go and just suck on the doorknob for, like, a minute. I hate how you yeah, can't, like, just, say anything, like, bad about this thing or... Touch everything, and then, like, just touch their handle with gloves, and then take the gloves off and put it in my carpet. Or do this, Doug, just, like, wait right outside their door, and when he walks out, just spit your hand and slap him in the face. And <laughs> I like that. Or challenge him to a duel, like, glove slap him. I also don't believe what Sante was saying, Dave, about his mom or whatever. Yeah, he always exaggerates. Like, like he got it? No, he was just saying that, like, all the patients were thin. No, I'm looking it up online. They say it's, like, 98% of them are, like, obese and shit. Yeah, because they, they probably can't fight this. They just don't have good respiratory anyway. Ninety eight percent of the people that like died had like some kind of under underlying illness. That's good. Yeah. yeah, but the character girl whose party it is is pretty hot too. Yeah, she really is. No one would be like giving her this shit. I would be trying to like fuck her. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> party is definitely fuckable. <clears throat> It's a beautiful couple here. <laughs> Yo, Denise. Does Seth, does Seth Green, like, does he still dye his hair black or whatever? <laughs> He's got a lot of eyeliner on, too. The little, like, rubber band things in his hair. Is that, like, just a joke for this movie, or do people actually do that? It was a joke to make him seem like he had braids or... Something like that. Every, every, all the hair and makeup was done so, like, quickly and bad. Yeah. He just walked out on set and we're, like, looked at and ready to go. Yep. Do, do a couple of uh, rubber bands and that's me's hair. Make sure that Jennifer Love Hewitt's nipples are hard every since she's in. Yeah, there, there was, like, somebody on set for that. <laughs> I still don't know what the nipple things were when they, like... Those are snowballs. Leon was right. Was a snowball? Some it shitty... It like, made into one of them and had chocolate inside. Yeah, it's, like, a shitty fucking, like, the worst oh, possible dessert yeah. thing. It's, like, it's so gross. Or some shit. <laughs> yeah. Funny, gross <laughs> yeah, they are a pretty beautiful couple. Hmm. It's Robin Williams. What's he in? He, uh, he definitely has like, been in shit. He looks He's in Hook. Like He's in Hook. Is he? Wait, you're talking about the cop or? Yeah, the cop. Yeah, the cop's been in stuff. I've seen him before. Randy Santoni. Dirty Harry, Doctor Doolittle. He's in like a lot of shit. Oh, he's Poppy from Seinfeld. That's what we're thinking, Poppy. Poppy got a little sloppy. Yeah, Poppy got a little sloppy. Oh shit! Man. Oh, Poppy man. Isn't that also like when Kramer was trying to make like he had like a make your own pizza business thing? Going yeah, on? he had that with Poppy. And it was like horrible ingredients, and Poppy's like, "Yeah, we're not doing this shit, no." <laughs> Right there. Yeah, her hair looks normal now. 
That was her party. Cause yeah, she was all dolled up for the party. Teased out. What the fuck song is this? I don't know. Lighthouse. Yeah. Ooh, it's like really off tune. Oh, it's just him. It's like some coffee shop shit. Some Starbucks CD. You got your umbrella in my way? Is it? What? <laughs> That's a cool shirt you got. That's a cool sign. It is. It sucks. Yeah. Now I'm like all wide awake and not going to be able Ooh. to go to sleep at the end of 6. Is we go to 6? 6.30. That's what Seth Green does to you. Yeah. Hmm. Is this the guy trying to fuck Barry Manilow? Yeah. He's trying to get a voice from Barry Manilow <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> he didn't have enough highlights in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that chain, that that chain ball wasn't right. long enough. Look at that jacket. What the fuck? It's He's like, high. It's like a revolutionary soldier or some shit. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it was like a 12th grader that was like the costume art, like wardrobe person here. Yeah, it's a red coat. Yeah, he's definitely high <laughs> here, by the way. You can see it. So, I don't know. It looks like he's ready to go bowling or some shit. He's got a league. Yeah, was he in Kingpin? <laughs> I don't think so. It's kind of like a cowboy jacket. It's like a... It's like a it's woman's like a jacket. Prince. Prince Cowboy Red Coat. It's like a woman's jacket. Yeah. Maybe it's her coat that she's laying in bog because he was cold. No, because she wears like man's clothes. Yeah. True, yeah. She's so burly. No, she's just like a burly, tough, strong woman. She doesn't need any like protecting in the cold. He's going to Dartmouth already? Yeah. Don't you know you go usually right after the last day of high school? The last big high school party, then college dorms open. Her and Seth Green were fate. I heard this is all based off the Odyssey. Is she talking about like Final <laughs> Destination or something? Yeah. I think she's talking about Odysseus's plate. She's like kind of skinny. She looks dumpy. Don't yeah. She dresses. It's weird. Like she goes scene to scene looking like okay and then horrible and then like okay. Dude, those goth girls get a lot of, like, behind-the-scenes action. Dude, interracial couples. Nice. Clarice is about to get piped down by, like, some fucking footer. He has a huge boner. There you go. There's a Star Trek reference. Here's the Animal House uh, stuff showing the end. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, that's where... Oh, shit. They didn't introduce them, though, did they? Like, with a... No, they just did the stuff at the end. Yeah, just that. They're like, where are they now? One of those Polaroids incriminate 
the hook kick too? Yeah. If anything, he would have more to lose than the hook kick because he's a $40 million millionaire. Yeah, right? These two got married to stay together. <laughs> well, it's because they're child porn. Like, that's just a pedo. <laughs> pedo. <laughs> pedo. Except Green. Terminator. He went on to the, to do a, a very uh, big franchise. Let's just say that. Well, why would you steal a gumball machine? You still have to pay for it. Yeah, that's a good point. He's just gonna keep putting in fucking quarters. <laughs> nice mass is it? True. Yeah, then they go all over the ground. He's just eating like dirty ass gumballs. That's a Shermanator, man. Glass. Piece of glass. Yeah. That's why he's a Shermanator. Wait, what's the Sher- what's Sherman from? American Pie. American Pie. Uh, it's, it's weird how American Pie was after this. You sure they weren't at the same time? No, because he's older years. a little bit in that Sherman. See, it's this is this was um after uh, what's that movie Angus? This is post Angus. Uh, Free American Pie. Fuck, the movie's really depressing. <laughs> Angus, it's like nothing good happens. To Angus, yeah, no, it's true. She looks good, like regular. Yeah. Yep. What does she look like now? I don't know. I know she's on some. She pretty good. I know she's on some like nine one one TV show thing. She's forty one. How old was she in that? I can't do the math. Well, it came out in 98. She's 19. Yeah. Yeah, she still looks good. She's like a little... No, she... Nah, she's kind of... She's kind of dumpy, you know? Dumpy? Some pictures she looks okay, and other pictures she looks like, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's kind of oh, dumpy. dumpy. She got dumped out. <laughs> yeah, she's really dumpy, actually. I'd say. She got yeah, she got dumped and then she got dumpy. She still got a good face, but she's kind of dumpy. Yeah. But her face looks like a little plastic surgery up too. She don't look like this. She's not that nice. This is bad from this thing because she should be she should be single, right? Yeah. She's only um, broken up with her five minutes. Remember? Yeah. She's got a really long neck. Yeah. <laughs> And a weird t-shirt. Yeah, babies. Baby I, cupids. For a second I thought it was the Siamese dream cover, but then it's like, no, they're just like these weird angel babies. So it'd be kind of cool if that was a t-shirt, like sizing magic pumpkins out. <laughs> it might be. You sure it's not? No, it's not. She's got a weird outfit on, too. Yeah, she well, looks like a... Well, grand. he's got a weird outfit on, too. Look at that. <laughs> and she's just like some... Woman. Yeah, the costume like like artist was like retarded. <laughs> Maybe a Down syndrome. It looks like like there's a trail of yarn behind her. <laughs> Dude, she's got like grandma underpants on, some granny panties. <laughs> she got a chastity belt. <laughs> yeah. Now that pussy is worn out from Mike Dexter. <laughs> or from Ryan Philippi. Wait, who's her boyfriend Calendar. in uh, tenth? Or what is it? I know what you did last summer. Is it Matthew Lillard? She's no, it's Hamilton. no, it's Freddie uh, Prince Jr. Yeah, it's Freddie. They don't actually do anything. Oh uh, wow. Yeah, Preston knows how to kiss. You know. I wonder how Sarah Michelle Gellar looks now. Too. I wonder about that. She's not in anything anymore, is she? No. They gotta bring back Buffy. She's still with Freddie Prince Jr. Uh, was it was it Angel Stripper Girl in 
Buffy? Maybe. It's like a guess. I don't know. This one's gonna be hard. This one's hard because should it be canceled or not? I don't know. There's some good messages and some bad messages. Though they're, no, they're actually the name. It, it's it's some characters are really woke, but then overall it's pretty offensive. Yeah. Oh, well, we got Stinger. The guy's name is Stinger? No. Uh, a little, little after thing. It should be someone called Stinger, though. That's kind of like a 90s uh, prerequisite. Why are they walking in the middle of the road? Because they don't have cars. Yeah, but wouldn't they go on the side? <laughs> oh, shit. Nice. I, I guess it's mathematically... Well, they get abducted, right? <laughs> That's a good ending. <laughs> yeah. Girl whose party it is. Oh, so really? That's hilarious. They really are that late? I think they did it as a joke now that I'm like seeing it. Like, you know what I mean? What? I think they did it kind of as like a joke. Yeah. That guy's got like an SS symbol on his shirt, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, isn't that the same icon? That's yeah, fun. it definitely is. Yeah, there's the... the oh, that's a, that guy was good. He was the winner of the movie. The, he looks like a school shooter. Shelby Wu looks sad. The, the dinosaur pipe. <laughs> Is it Eddie Vedder song or something? No, it's yeah. the replacements. This is Eddie Vedder's solo stuff called Good Cop, Bad Cop. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where we'll end this one, then. <laughs> Not anymore. They were 